What's up, nerds? Welcome to episode two of the Critical Role Recap Show here on Them Nerds. I am Tony, your resident critter. Let's break down this second episode, the Halloween episode. This year, the cast decided to each dress as another cast member, and it was pure comedy. I loved it. Matt was Laura, Travis was Sam, Robbie was Matt, Marisha was Talison, which actually fit really well with the Laudna character. Um, I think she should stick with that look. I don't know. Uh, Sam was Marisha, complete with her sleeves are bullshit signature tank top. Ashley was Travis down to the pecs. Laura donned the hat and pencil mustache to be Robbie Damon, whose name I regrettably mispronounced last episode. Sorry, Robbie. Liam is Ashley and Talison is Liam. Whew. Tough to keep track of. Matt had a hard time keeping track of it too. We kick off with a recap of the battle against the animated housewares in the lead up to arriving at Lord Estoros's estate. They made a point to pronounce it with the os instead of the os, Estoros instead of Estoros. I'm guessing all that Game of Thrones, Westeros versus Estoros criticism that's floating around the internet must have stuck. We immediately roll for initiative and we are off to the races. Lord Esteros is a freaking hoss, handily smacking the whole party around the room with multiple strikes. Just beats the piss out of everyone. Dorian is rendered unconscious with a brutally descriptive overhead staff strike before being healed by fresh cut grass. Orem continually tries to disarm Lord Esteros but has some brutally low rolls and a string of failures. After playing croquet with the party's heads for a bit, Esteros waves them off and says, Enough! Clearly, seeing what he needs to see to know the party will work for his needs. He conveys that he is simply looking for like-minded people to, quote, beat back the darkness. Liam rolls an insight check and gets a nat 20. Matt, with the first in-person whisper since COVID, I wonder what Orm knows now and whether he'll share it. Esteros sheds a little light on his previous dealings with Bertrand, and apparently old Sir Bell was less than brave in his last employment experience with the Lord, abandoning his troop leading to their untimely demise. Esteros offers a deal wherein the party will work toward his interests in exchange for coin, and depending on their success, also influence and favors. The former works well for Ashton and FCG, the latter is ideal for Imogen and Laudna. Even though we, the viewing audience, know that this will kick off many adventures, the party decides to go have a meal and discuss it. The group ultimately decides to take Esteros's deal. The terms of the deal are, no one should know that they work for Lord Esteros, and they should go and root out these wrongdoings that Esteros thinks are, are happening. They get paid, they get influence, seems like a good deal for everybody. Their first task is to go to Pradosh Textiles and investigate some thefts of stores that are happening there at that warehouse. Fern and Bertrand decide that they're going to just wait out front and wander around aimlessly. Very on point for Fern. Fresh Cut Grass, Imogen, and Orem go inside, pretending to be looking for a source of goods for a new shop. Ashton, Laudna, and Dorian go around to investigate the outskirts of the warehouse and ultimately check out the roof. The inside group discovers that there were some crates messed with and they find the remnants of broomstone. Broomstone is an element that was used to float entire cities during the age of Arcana and is still used to float the airships that make travel possible in Marquette. Very valuable, very rare. After checking things out, the group decides to stake out past closing time. They decide to have Dorian make Orm invisible and sneak in. Orem gets inside and everybody is waiting outside. Eventually, the foreman of the shop is the last to leave, rushes off with something, looking very nervous, and Imogen and Bertrand follow, chasing him off into the city. Matt ends the episode with Fern, Laudna, Ashton, and Fresh Cut Grass at the welded shut back door. Fern is pounding on it. Orem is nervous as shit in the pitch black. He's got Laudna's creepy ass voice in his head, He's in the dark, totally freaked out. Dorian is pacing around out front, not knowing what to do. Bertrand and Imogen are chasing Dennis through the city. Wild stuff with the party split. And I cannot wait to see what happens next week. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us, nerds. Be good. Be good to each other. 
Later, nerds.